Premier look at and go, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I want to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> Something like that, yes. It's what we all aspire to be. <laughs> Is that the one who's really rude? She was the one that almost killed you, yes. Ah, yes. <laughs> I remember it well. <laughs> okay. All right, so every uh, the evening begins. Um, everyone mark off a blood point. So I think I'm down to three now, so I'm probably going to have to feed sometime soon. You yeah, that's what I was, that. yeah, I'm down to two, so I need to. I have you many. Hung, you hungry, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good for quite a while. All right, so, um, okay, so we'll start with Adriana. We don't normally start with her. Let's go with her. Adriana, you wake up. Zach is sequestered down in one of the lab uh, of the, one of the labs, and you are very hungry. Um, can I go to one of the? Uh... The feeding places like where um Christoph ended up the one time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm absolutely. <laughs> you can go to the University of Georgia Student Union. That's right, that's where it was. I forgot. <laughs> um okay, so yeah, that's where I'm gonna go. Oh, and you actually you have two dots and herd. You have two two people who will willingly donate to you. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay, so make it quick. I'll do that then instead. All so, right. So now are these like just people that I can call up or is it people that are over at the student union or how does that um, work? Well, Max is a, uh, he's, he's sort of a geriatric goth uh, janitor who works at the, uh, at the uh, university. And he's, he just kind of, he's just, he thinks it's just good fun. He thinks you're just some weirdo with a blood fetish. Um, then there is Sally, who is a convenience store clerk nearby. And she is, uh, she owes you for, for helping her out of a, uh, a, a health issue she had. Okay. Um, I figure since you're medical personnel, that's a fairly, <laughs> fairly um, uh, reasonable thing. Okay. Yeah, I guess let me, uh, let's go talk with Sally first, I guess. Okay. Okay, yeah, you go to, you go to the 7-Eleven and, you know, Sally's there. Um, you go inside and you hear the heartbeats of the seven mortals in here. Um, you can smell the iron in their blood. Uh, so, yeah, I need you to roll a... Hmm, roll your willpower, please. Hey, guys, so I can join the game. Hello! Oh, you can? Or, or are you just listening? I can join. That's just my grandma needs to do something, so I have the hours to spare. I just need someone to be able to do my roles and stuff for me. No problem. I can do that. All right. Thank you. All right. Where is the willpower, dang it? <laughs> willpower toward the bottom under humanity path, right above blood pool, and you oh, that there it is. Yes. Chad, uh, would you mind please muting your uh, your thing for a bit? Yeah. Thank you. You should use press to talk if you can. I think he's in a car again. Yeah. Oh, then never mind. What's the uh, the pull mod? Um, minus two. You or actually minus three because you can't roll more dice than you have blood okay. for this roll. 
and the difficulty? Six. Oh. B. All right. <laughs> I should have went to the university. <laughs> Here we go. You're in a 7-Eleven. It's late at night. There are people there. Uh, two uh, drunk couple who are hanging on to each other. Sally's behind the counter. She lights up and smiles at you because she thinks you're the bee's knees. Um, there is a, secu a security guard who looks very tired, pouring some coffee. You are frenzying. You're in a hunger frenzy. Oh, no. Now, what sort of... Ins basically, bear in mind, the beast has hold of you, and all it wants to do is feed. This is fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. <laughs> um... So I guess as I'm trying to, I, I want to try to communicate to um, Sally of, you know, hey, let's step out to the alley or, you know, hey, I want to talk to you real quick or something like that. Um, All right. Yes. So can I just give her like a, a head nod? You know, since I've really. You do. You do. Yeah. And she, she, um, she gets her manager. Hey, uh, just give me a minute. I'll, I'll be back. Manager's like, okay. Then starts helping customers. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to quickly get out of there before things get completely out of hand. <laughs> By the time then, you get to the alley, your fangs ache as they distend from your from your gums. Um, that's fun. Um, so is she, so has Sally already previously agreed as far as with the feeding or does she still need like convincing or, or whatnot with it? Um, well, actually, I don't think at this stage, since you're frenzying, you care if she agrees. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I guess uh, as soon as she, uh, she steps out back, um, I guess I don't have much of a choice then, especially since, you know, <laughs> things are already out. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and, and, you know, go ahead and feed off of her without oh. any kind of warning. Okay, she she makes a slight gasp as you grab hold of her and you bite deeply into her neck. Um, you feel the spurt of blood from her carotid artery bash into the back of your throat. All right, so good news. You now have 10 blood pool. What's the bad news? Bad news is she's got about two pints left in her body. I need you to make a humanity roll, <laughs> which would be three dice for this one. So I'll uh, actually I'll just roll it because I can. I should probably handle humanity rolls so. <laughs> Dang, I'm just getting a okay. look tonight. You have lost one point of humanity. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, I had to count it. There we go. Yeah. All right. So you've lost one point of humanity. You feel the beast gain uh, more um, grip in your soul. Your next problem is, are you going to try to save Sally? Yes. Um, so once I come out of it um, and kind of realize how much I've drained her, um, I'm going to lick the wounds first to okay. close them up. Um, and what am I I'm trying to think? What am I going to do to try to save her? Um, You could roll intelligence plus medicine, but yeah. the difficulty is going to be eight because you're in an alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll try that. So, you just said intelligence and what? 
Medicine. Medicine. If only she carried around a first aid kit. You know. uh, I, I don't. I don't think a first aid kit helps much with um, <laughs> with yeah, massive blood loss. I don't. I don't think the band aid is gonna help. Okay, it's worth a try. Uh, but, the, what's the full mod? Zero. Uh, zero. Okay, you said difficulty eight. Yes. I got no love tonight. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> well, there's a stout t- dies a in your arms. Yeah. Great. Wait, that's not one success because there's like a green tin there. The the ones eat the tens. Oh, never mind. Yep. All right, so Sally dies in your arms. Wow. Okay. Um. What do you do? Um. Um, well, um, I, um, crap, um, I'm trying to think on how I can disguise this as like an, like a mugger attack or something like that. Um, And that way I can go in and just, you know, and tell like the manager of, hey, you know, uh, you know, we were attacked outside and, you know, something's happened, you know, and she's not breathing or something like that. So I'm trying to think of the best way to. You're going to have to roll manipulation plus streetwise. Yeah, you got to wish Creed was there for that one. Yeah, Yeah. I was about to say, if only Creed were there. Uh, okay, I'll try that. Um, manipulation, streetwise. This is not starting out good tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's Sometimes the, uh... the dice they do that. <laughs> hey, I, I I was on a roll last time, you know. Yeah, you I were. Guess on, I guess it's only fair. Hey, you uh... going out sometimes. <laughs> and Chris, <laughs> and uh, Creed hasn't lost his roll yet. Yep. It's because I. I know what the role. If he's getting military with someone, he's probably going to win this. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difficulty? Difficulty will be eight because you're not a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. So you come up with a plan. Your idea is you got to find something to stab Sally with. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. All right, all right. So, so you find a broken bottle and you jabber a few times in the gut. Um, please roll humanity. Again. We're gonna roll because <laughs> this is uh, that's kind of messed up. Not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, okay, this whole thing is totally painful. I feel so bad. Uh, you know. All right. So, are you gonna roll the humanity for me again? Yeah, yeah. I'm about to. Okay. Fingers Isn't crossed. It? Uh, isn't she into forensics? I feel like that would help with some of the framing. No, she's not a forensic person. Oh, never mind. That was she's an epidemiologist. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, one success. Uh, actually, no. The one eats it. Oh, oh damn. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, so you you pretty much mangled up poor Sally's body. Uh, good news is you don't have blood all over you because she was already dead, so her body didn't spurt. Uh, um, all right, so you're going to go in and tell her manager. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I should have just made a freaking phone call, but... You know. Or do, do you, you don't have to. You, you can do anything you want at this point. Yeah, well, so I look down and realize, oh, crap, you know. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, oh, yes, you do lose one more humanity, by the way. Yep, Just much. now realize this. Yeah, I'm an idiot. It was the beast, you know, it was the hangover, what can I say? Nice. Uh, so I kind of snap out of it um, before I go through with my horrible terrible plan um i guess i'm gonna make a phone call 
Um... Who are you calling? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. There you go. Do I call somebody at the chantry or do I call somebody in the group? Um... Um, I'm gonna call. I wonder, can I call Fester? I'm gonna call Fester and see what he All can. Right. Yeah. yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you hear him go, Moshi, Moshi. <laughs> uh, hey, Fester, uh, I need your help. <laughs> what do you need, darling? I can help. Well, I, uh, I, I got a bit of a problem I, I need to clean up. I uh, accidentally uh, killed a, a mortal. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a little heavy. Um, uh, well, um, yeah, I, I can get there. Uh... I, tell, I mean, if, if you can help, I mean, I'll, I'll owe you one. You know, I mean, I know this is a big thing. I just, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want it to get out if I can help it. All right, all right. I'll I'll see, I'll see what I can do. I'll I'll be there in about ten minutes. You you just hang tight. Okay. Here's the problem. Usually, when employees take a break, it's fifteen minutes. Mm -hmm. You've used five minutes eating and stabbing the body. <laughs> Fester will be there about the time the manager comes to look for her. Uh... Maybe call in another friend. <laughs> I just want to put it off. Depending on traffic, side. they might or might not be there by the time you're thrown in cuffs and arrest. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to put on the record really quick. If um, Adriana called Creed and she said that uh, she killed someone, I feel like Creed would just be like, nice job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my thought, you know. Uh... And Kristoff's helps somebody get rid of a body before. Well, I'm trying to think. Um, crap. I'm. I don't know. I'm kind of stuck here. Um, I guess. So I'm assuming that whenever, well, whenever I, you know, fed into the stabby stabby, um, I take it that we were like in the back part of the alley, um, and that there was like some debris that you know I could kind of cover her up with until he gets there. Well, there's a dumpster, and that's about it. Atlanta is is actually a fairly clean city. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put her in the dumpster and kind of hide behind it until Fester gets there. Okay. All right, all right. You, you, get, you put her in the... Actually, roll strength plus athletics to lift the body into the dumpster. <laughs> Let's all pray for her now. Even me yeah. with trash, even me with trash bags, I can't get him into those darn things. Yeah, because now you know I'm gonna get blood all over me probably. Um, what's the pull mod zero? Yes. Okay. Difficulty. Six. Yeah. Thank God. All right. She lands with a forlorn thump in the bottom of the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have a little bit of blood on the front of your shirt, but it's not too much. Okay. Like I said, corpses drain. They don't bleed. All right. <laughs> so, oh. like I said, I'm, I'm going to hide behind and kind of just wait until Fester gets there. All right. For that one, roll wits and stealth. And hope that Mr. Mooney does not see you. <laughs> That's the uh, difficulty. Six. Uh, yeah, it's six because it's a dark alley, you know. Okay. There we go. 
Nice. There we go. All right, he comes out. Sally? Sally, you out here? Oh, Christ. Where is she gone? All right. He pulls out his cell phone and begins dialing. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't check her for a phone? No, I sure did not. Well, okay, okay, one second. I, I got to get this um, just right. He's dialing. And from the dumpster, you hear. You hear the little ringtone of Katrina and the waves walking on sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes the situation kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, people often have weird, jolly ringtones, right? That and is if you're true. Found dead with like a happy ringtone, that's just weird. <laughs> I mean, All mine right. is Titanic. That would be uh, that would be appropriate. Yeah, yeah. All right, so he's walking over to the dumpster. What are you going to do, Adriana? Um, what? How far is the dumpster? from him like would I have an opportunity to um either like jump in and try to silence it without him noticing or is he pretty close I guess what's the oh he know he's heard the the ringtone he's walking toward the dumpster okay um you have a choice you can try to scale the wall at the back of the alley you can try to run past him or you can try to stop him from discovering this by any means necessary. Two dead bodies. Two what? Two dead bodies. <laughs> Two dead bodies. <laughs> hey, see, that isn't a bad idea. See, I love y'all. Yeah. Y'all just y'all just create stories. I don't I don't even have to worry about. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what my thought kind of was earlier. Um, before I, you know, went completely stupid, stabby, stabby. <laughs> um, <laughs> that would have saved us a lot of confusion. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm going to quickly grab the broken bottle. And I guess, well, see, the thing is, I'm wondering if I, if I stab myself, how that's going to end up. You don't bleed. Yeah. And you're already hurt. You haven't used any blood to heal yourself. Well, does she have some blood on her? Is it just like a little where it like looks like it was just kind of like splattered on her or what? Um, I don't know. Depends on how good an actor she is. <laughs> Got any points in uh, uh, performance? Nope. Oh, actually, she's got one in subterfuge. Uh, I was about to say performance would. No, performance assumes you had a script. Ah. And this is like, or a happy improv party. This is, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> I think it's a risk and you should totally roll that. Yeah, okay. So pretend like, yes, yeah, so I'm going to lay down, pretend like I'm dead. Um, maybe like with. I kind of, kind of position myself like underneath the dumpster a little bit to see, make it seem like someone um, was, you know, trying to hide me like under the dumpster. Okay, I'm going to say roll manipulation and subterfuge and hope for the best. <laughs> Just make sure y'all learn from, from my mistakes, okay? <laughs> Look, yeah, Creed's dude. already got his own trouble. He's got seven million dollars <laughs> of a very scary drug lord's money. <laughs> I don't care how undead you are; they will hunt your ass down. <laughs> um, what's the uh, the poor mod? Uh, 
I'll even give you a plus two pool mod because okay. you're you're already undead, so you know it's not like if he checked for a false. Okay. I, was, I was about to mention something about that. You, know, you don't have to dead. breathe. Yep, don't yep. have to breathe. Yep, that's difficulty. Difficulty is six. Okay. All right, that's one success. Yep. Oh wait, two because the one ate one of them. Okay. All right, so. Mr. Moody gets over there and goes, "Holy shit balls." <laughs> he like he like leans down, he's like, "Hey, hey, are you all right? Are you all right, miss?" He touches you and feels that you're 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 cool. And he's like, "911, 911." He looks in the dumpster. "Oh my god, 911. <laughs> There're two women dead out here. I need your help. Quick." <laughs> At first, I thought he was just yelling the number, not not um, <laughs> not dialing it. No, he dialed it. You're only hearing half the conversation, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, he gives the location. He gives everything. All right, he is. So everything's good, right? You're there. He seems fooled. He's now standing there. Shining an assistive light on your face. <laughs> Damn camera flashlights. Phone flashlights. Waiting for the cops. Oh, I just can't catch a break tonight, can I? <laughs> um, right. has, has Fester shown up yet? Um, If Fester has shown up, he is... Definitely not. He, he's a walking masquerade violation, and he is not going to walk into the middle of this fucker row, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I was thinking if, if he had shown up, maybe he would do some sort of a distraction, so yeah, the manager would walk away, and I could try to run. <laughs> yeah, Fester likes I you, have... but he don't like you that much. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, I have a plan, but it's going to be including this manager to be very, very very stupid is to act as if you're a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that would help. You'd be I think that you know what? You can do whatever you like, Adriana, <laughs> if the ball is in your court. I think you should undertake them and just like shoot your eyes open and sit upright. Yeah, that's, like, what I was, <gasps> that's what I was just thinking was to, yeah, just to... Um, that's why I think I just to like sit up and and try to shock him, whether it scares the crap out of him and or, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, what the hell? I'm gonna do that. Okay. So... <laughs> all right, all right. Um, to succeed at this, let's just say you're gonna have to roll manipulation and intimidation. I'm sorry, these are this is like the strangest set of rolls I've ever had to come up with. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, cool mod zero. You mm -hmm. should spill PowerPoint on this to make sure you do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be a good idea. <laughs> just spend a will PowerPoint, you said? Yeah, yeah. Just, just click the box under it. Because uh, I feel like under... almost now you would like... Under willpower. Be oh, close oh, to okay. the again because you're like freaking out enough to try to get out of there. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. So do I still need to? Click no, you the, don't. Uh, no. All okay. right, you sit up. <laughs> and Mooney's like, "Holy fuck!" He runs back into the, uh, <laughs> back into the the Seven Eleven. Where do you go? Um, I'm going to, I'm gonna, I guess I'm just going to run out of the alley <coughs> in the opposite direction of the store. That way I don't like run past the store windows or anything. So. Okay. Behind you, you hear the sound of a, a pump action 12 gauge being shucked and you hear him scream, hell is full, the dead walk the earth. 
<laughs> I need you to roll dexterity plus athletics. <laughs> Uh, to dodge his awesome. shotgun blast because he's convinced you're a full on zombie at this point. <laughs> They're fucking fast zombies. We gotta take them out. <laughs> uh, okay. I can't believe this manager is this dumb. Do what? I can't believe how dumb this manager is. <sighs> Why does the manager have a shotgun at, at work? Uh, it's a convenience store. Convenience it's, have it's an Atlanta convenience store. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> uh, what's the uh, difficulty? Difficulty is six because he's scared shitless and firing blindly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's a botch. Okay. I cannot catch a break. <laughs> All right, so... You. He has basically inflicted four levels of lethal damage into your back. You are at mauled now. E. Now, you could spend blood to heal this and escape. It takes one blood per level, but yeah, you can do it. You can, like, roll. Actually, at this stage, I'll give you a break. You can roll into the river. <laughs> okay. All right. That sounds, that sounds good. <laughs> so you roll off, off the bank into the river. <laughs> oh. Uh, and I'm gonna float downstream. <laughs> you know, actually, as as my friend Chris would say, one minute it was just I'm gonna go feed. The next it turned into a, and I quote a bad day in Bosnia. <laughs> 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 ah, okay. Um yeah, uh so yeah, uh Carolyn. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> How are you going to follow all that up? Uh I'm I I hope mine's not as interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your assistant as confused as you should say. <laughs> um. Yeah, she's just. I've gotta try to find somebody that's like physically uh more dominant than I am, or at least appearing that way. So. Okay. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so you're going to find that person. I need you to roll. Um. Wits. Plus, hmm, wits plus awareness. All right. And what's the difficulty? Difficulty is six. I mean, you know, you're you're in Atlanta. There's there's no shortage of of you know two successes okay yes you you do man you managed to find a fair, fairly imposing specimen this this gentleman is a just a big old big old boy and you know he looks to be a bodybuilder of some sort he's like well hello uh she will smile and kind of like play with her hair Okay. And be like, hi. Uh, how can I help you, miss? Um, I need your help. You look really big and strong, and I have a flat tire. You think you could help me? Why, well, sure. He walks over to his truck, grabs a toolbox, and walks with you. Okay. <clears throat> Well, I will lead him to my car. Okay. And I'll open one of the doors, and before, like, when once he like squats down to kind of look at the tire, mm -hmm. I want eye contact with him and tell him to to sleep. And I'm going to use mesmerize. All right. Um. Yeah. Roll. Was it leadership in this edition? Yeah, I think it's. 
Yeah. Okay. Manipulation and yeah, manipulation and leadership. They they changed it in every edition. So. And then I have the uh, in what is it? The enchanting voice merit. Yes, you get plus two to your dice. Ooh, nine dice. What's going to be the difficulty? Uh six. This guy is not the the most. He doesn't have the most. <laughs> oh man, that's a lot of ones. Thankfully, you got you got some. Yeah. All right, so. Uh, whew. All right, so you managed to. Uh, he he looks at you. And falls over asleep. Okay, I'll. Uh... Is is my car like in a covered area? Yeah, it's in a parking garage. Okay, so I'll scan to see if there's like any kind of like cameras I can see what I'm about to do. Roll uh, once again wits and awareness. Same difficulty six. Yes. Hey. You've managed to find the spot, where, the sweet spot where the cam- between the cameras. Okay, I'll uh, I'll take as much as I can without killing them. Well, now, my friend, you need to roll your willpower. But you have seven willpower. Yeah. You, you need to do a minus four to the dice pool. Oh my you God. can't roll more than you got you then you've got blood in your body. Okay. That's why you kids want to stay well fed. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Uh and what's the difficulty gonna be? Six, just a straight okay. six. All right. All right. So you remain in control. Beast does not take you over. And how much blood do you take? You can take uh, three without hurting him. Okay, I'll take three. Okay. Fantastic. So you've got six blood. All right. So Christoph and Creed. Oh, is it time for Christoph and Creed's adventures? <laughs> Pretty much. You all wake up at, at uh, where are you all staying? Was it at Carolyn's place? Um, well, Christoph has an apartment. That's yeah, where... but but everybody was like, don't you go back there, Christoph. Don't you do it. Yeah. Got them. I set them up like their own place. Like they're not. Oh like, yeah, yeah. You're at the hotel. Yeah, yeah. I got them like their own like shindig going on for right now. I actually had like thought of something that would like. I don't know. Since we haven't we hadn't, we didn't play for like two weeks, that like I wanted Caroline to do, and then kind of have like a reveal to the group about like what she's been doing. You know what I mean? On her spare time. Yeah. No problem. All right, so you guys, you guys are at a very swanky place. That one's paid for. <laughs> so, can, can you what are you guys blood, doing? Um, points I have actually. Say again. Can you check my blood points since I can't I check? About to. Thank it's you for problem. reminding me. Yeah, I should probably feed. That's very important for Bruja. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, I, you had to mark one off. So you've got three left. All right. All right, Creed. Yeah, I'm feeding. <laughs> now we're going to have the adventures of Creed. And Kristoff. Kristoff's probably going to come with him. Yeah, he's going to follow. We all know it. <laughs> All right, Creed, how are you going to hunt? What are you looking for? First, Creed's going to look over to Kristoff and like, do not ruin this for me. You know to stay away. Huh? He said. <laughs> what? He just said, huh? <laughs> okay. But, um, so he's going to look for... Just any girl who seems like they would be stupid enough to fall for anything. <laughs> okay, that would be perception plus awareness. Jesus. I'm sorry. Okay, um, you get one die for that. Crap. Uh <laughs> 
perception, awareness. Holy crap, you got a success. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, you find uh you find a, a fairly uh a fairly dim girl um her backpack says Amanda and she's wearing um she's wearing like an anime tank top and she looks just super innocent like she's like, "Hi. How are you?" It's like he describes me in every shape and form, but just without the backpack. Do what? <laughs> okay, um, so he's just going to kind of be like, oh, hi, what's up? I see you're into anime. Yeah, yeah, I am. I, I'm, I'm in town for a con. It should be really cool. Have you heard of Vampire Nights by chance? Say again? Vampire Nights. It's like a vampire, like uh, romance. Uh, oh yeah, she's she's like, oh yeah, I've I've read all the manga. Yeah, that one. Now, everyone, before I continue, we are <laughs> going to admit that Creed is a massive weep because he <laughs> loves the Vampire Night series. Because he, he's, I don't know, he was just scared shit for this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually oh. love this about Creed. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, this is something that only Kristoff will probably learn at this moment, and he's he's almost terrified to even know or let Kristoff know this. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's like, "Hey, uh, let's go talk about that," and he kind of just leads her into like kind of an alley, making sure Kristoff is far away, <laughs> so that he doesn't like. Somehow get in, like into this. And he will need so... several facial cues. But yeah, um, then he continues talking. And he's like talking about his love for it, and um, then at one point, or at some point after, like just like getting done with his thought, he finally tries to go for the bite. Okay, he goes for the bite, so he's distracted her. So that would be manipulation plus expression. Or no, subterfuge. So you've got eight dice for that, so that's good. Oh, hang on one second. All right. Actually, there we go. All right, so you got eight dice for that. I am going to put it up there. Manipulation plus subterfuge. All right, you get two successes. So you've got an advantage. Now you could use strength and brawl just to grab her and bite her. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. All right, you get four successes. You've easily controlled her. I mean, you're, you're stronger than almost anybody else in your group. <laughs> Um, okay, here's where it gets fun. <laughs> now we roll the willpower. You get three dice. Okay, where's the minus sign? Okay, minus two. Yay. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Okay. You get all three successes. She's like, oh wow. You're so awesome. I don't know I don't know how you Wow, can can I get your number? And you get three blood points. <laughs> Alright, Creed, you have a fan. I'm sorry, I can't get over the fact that she actually asked for my number. <laughs> well, when you when when you do something that smooth and then like get like three successes to control yourself and be a gentleman about it, uh, wow. 
um, now it's yeah. kind of Stockholm syndrome, but you know she likes you. <laughs> yeah, he would give her his number and begs her to not spam him during the day. No problem, I won't. I'm a night owl myself. Ah, oh, perfect. All right, well, I'll see you around. Hope you have fun at that con. Thanks. Bye. All right. Well, that went the exact opposite of the way Adriana's went. <laughs> Give me a moment, I'll be right back, and I will narrate uh, what happens with Adriana. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to feel. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, so much for the uh, the fancy art parties tonight, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the moment when she gets back, where Creed begs Kristoff to never talk about this. <laughs> don't you dare tell the others. <laughs> yeah, don't tell the others I like this anime. <laughs> He places his his hand on his heart and he says, "Of course not." In the most Creed genuine realizes, way possible. Creed realizes that he didn't have to beg. <laughs> nope, absolutely not. But Kristoff still appreciated it. Yeah, I think he's like now that I have him like out as a weave. Every time he's in love with Kristoff, I feel like he's just gonna like compare everything to Tokyo Ghoul. <laughs> and just like Kristoff, I know nothing about it. I you watch it, it's pretty good. The only thing is that during the first season is uh like there's a really like there's a torture thing. And it's really hard to watch, so that's like the only thing I would warn. And like the first season was honestly the only good season too. The second one was really bad, mm -hmm. and the third one is like a few episodes in, and it's pretty all right. But you have to read the manga to know what's going on, which is stupid. I was planning on having Kristoff feed too, but the, it didn't quite go as last time with, with him and Creed. Sorry, I thought you, uh, you didn't really need to feed actually since the last time we fed, uh, weren't you... Didn't you have like all your blood points or something like that? Yes, but I love topping things off. You know this. <laughs> I specifically don't want to get it low. Well, with the way it's gone for some of us tonight, do you really want to take that chance? <laughs> Like you don't need it. <laughs> you want to see this happen? What'd you say, Chad? That we want to see this happen. Kristoff almost <laughs> and kill somebody. Beating. <laughs> it... Here's the thing, though. I did like the last time he fed. He like he didn't really get to feed, and he got himself in pretty good trouble here. The last time. <laughs> No, that was the first time. I remember. Oh, yeah. Either way, yeah, you got yourself in trouble. I forgot. Yeah, but that, that was because he was in the wrong place. He knows not to go to that place. That's true. If he does it on his own, I think the main thing he's got going for him is his looks. Have fun thinking romantic feelings.
All right, I now return. Welcome back. Hello. So, Adriana. Yes. You float down the river and wind up uh, lying somewhere on a sandy bank. Okay. Now, to heal your wounds, we'll take one blood point per wound. Well, let's see, I have 10. Um, how many wounds do I have Five. total? Five. Um, yeah, vampires don't heal on their own. They have to use blood. Oh, what the hell. Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and spend five of my blood points to heal then. Okay. So you come out of the water, fortunately looking fresh as new. <laughs> Good lord. Okay, now you have another problem. <laughs> Where the hell are you? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> your clothes in, in my, are your clothes are tattered and blood stained and burned from being shot in the back of the shotgun. Uh, um yeah, my phone is trash, obviously. Yep. Um Good news is you're not hungry anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hungry and I escaped. Um, yeah, potential of being arrested. Um, well, I guess what do I see as I'm getting up the, the you know, get up on the sandy beach? What do I see around me? Ah, uh, trees. Um, some scrubland. Uh, probably about two miles distant, you see some lights. Ooh. So am I way out of the city then? That it yeah. sounds like. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Rivers do flow, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah. Okay. So. Um. I guess I am going to um, start to walk, you know, kind of just as I'm checking, you know, with my surroundings and I'm uh, going to try to walk towards the light to see if I can find a road. Okay. All right, you walk um, through the woods. You hear something off to one side. Uh, hang on, I've got it here. You hear some folk uh, talking and laughing by a fire. And they're playing some music. It's, you know, fairy, uh, fairies and flutes kind of music. It's, it sounds like a, a New Age ocarina band or some crap. <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to kind of go over to towards them so I could but still stay hidden to kind of gauge what I'm you know what I'm seeing over there. And uh, I want to use aspects whenever I do get over there to see you know if there's anything out of the ordinary. They're all humans. Um, they do you hear well. You don't have enough aspects to tell if they're supernatural, but they smell human. Uh, you smell a lot of weed. 
<laughs> a lot of weed. And um, you smell a lot of BO. Hey, hang on just one second, guys. I need to, I need to mute for just a moment. So that weed. Say again? So that weed. <laughs> yeah, a lot of weed, a lot of BO. A lot of BO. But that flute music, though. <laughs> I love flute music. Well, hey, you know. I even have Dirty. my own pan pipes. Do what? I even have my own pan pipes. That's cool. I can't play them for crap, but <laughs> I own them. <laughs> I can make sound on them, and that's about as far as I've gotten. Well, that's a good first step. Yeah, I mean, it's better than just blowing through them making no sound. <laughs> You'd be surprised. You have to get, like, a very specific angle with those things for them to yeah. actually make noise. Though I don't think I've ever heard somebody play an ocarina without it sounding like a okay, whistle. Okay, so I'm going to unmute then for just a minute while I'm, I'm working on something for my husband. Yeah, no um, Okay, so you said we get over there. You get over there and they're like, hey man, how you doing? Okay. Um, there's a large number of naked women, men, and children wandering around. Perhaps um, you've stumbled upon a tribe of natives. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. These 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 folks are these folks are very white bread. <laughs> Just unwashed. Exactly white. It. There's a big a uh, big banner on the side of a, a of an old bus that's here that says uh you know something about the rainbow family. The land of the hippies. Yep. The nude hippies. The worst kind. Eh, they're not bad. They're the funniest kind. Yeah, I'm just making jokes. <sighs> I've never actually met a hippie, though. I met one. Well, and he was just, really look, funny. just look up Rainbow Gathering and... <laughs> Go find yourself a local one. You'll meet plenty of hippies. That wouldn't surprise me. In California, you just kind of walk in the neighborhood and you just kind of see one every so yeah. often. And the one that I actually talked to was hilarious. He was always high, and I just <laughs> sat there and just listened to him talk. <laughs> I mean, there's a community in my town, actually, that does this whole kingdom medieval thing and dress up and roleplay pretty much all day, so it wouldn't surprise me if I found hippies, too. Hippies are somewhat more believable to me than the 24-7 than the LARP people. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I would, I would believe the hippies before the LARPs, too. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you still find hippies now. I don't think they're 24-7... But they, it's a very often thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, I now I'm just now I just want to create like a weird cult of like medievalists that live. <laughs> in it. Like seriously, if you look up the um the kingdoms, oh. like the medieval kingdoms of, of America. Um... Oh, the SCA. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, guys. Sorry. Are you yes. there? Yes, we're here. Sorry, uh, when we're, we, we we hit the wrong breaker and it knocked out the internet. <laughs> ah. Oh no! So sorry, so I had to let it wait, give it a minute for it to reconnect. That's fine. So, um, okay, so sorry. So, <laughs> um, we uh, okay. So I walk over there uh, towards people um, and just be like, "Hey, uh, you know, hi guys, how, how are y'all doing?" 
pretty good. You out for a night swim? Uh, yes, yeah, something like that. Uh, um, I actually uh, was a, had a, a car accident way uh, somewhere um, and ended up in the river and just kind of came came here. Uh, do any of y'all have a cell phone I can I can use to uh, to make a call? Nah, man, but I can I can give you a ride over over to the, the, the filling station up the road. Um, we don't have those cell phones. Those are electronic leashes <laughs> the government uses to keep track of your movements, man. Okay. Well, no, I, I, I get that. Yeah, I definitely I would appreciate yeah, a ride up to the, you know, up to the, the convenience store. All righty. Um, he says his name is Henry. And Henry uh, gets you gets you into a a beat up, very ancient Volkswagen microbus, and uh, you hear it go <laughs> come to life with like a sputter and a clunk. And you are, next thing you know, you're you're standing outside of. Um, You're standing outside of the Valdosta Walmart. <laughs> okay, Valdosta Walmart. Um, well, and I'm assuming I'm still covered in burnt and bloody. You're covered clothes. in mud and you've got sticks in your hair. You look like <laughs> a corpse that's been in a river. <laughs> <laughs> now, fortunately, you healed. <laughs> So you just look like a dirty person from a river, <laughs> yeah. but still. Uh, I, oh, and your clothes are tattered because you were hit in the back with a freaking shotgun. <laughs> okay. Um. You need a uh, you need some clothes, man, or some money. Um. Yeah, actually, I do. I was just I was I need to get cleaned up. So, uh, you know, you know, a, a fresh shirt and pants would be. Yeah, you know, would would be would be nice, and um, that way I can I can call and see about getting a ride somewhere. All right, he gives you a beat up old yellow t shirt, um, it's obnoxious but faded yellow. Uh, it says you see Santa Cruz um, banana slugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and some cut off shorts that are too big for you, and he ties them off with a. What looks to be a frayed bungee cord, so you have a makeshift belt. Okay. He then he then places a wad of, of um, a wad of one dollar bills in your hand. And says, "Good. <laughs> what's your name? I didn't ask." Oh, uh, yeah. I'm I'm so sorry. It was just kind of kind of crazy. Uh, my name uh, is is Jane. So. Uh, I really appreciate all, all, all the We're going to call you the River Child. Yeah. <laughs> you have a good one, River Child. Hey, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> if only the group were here, we'd be calling you that from now on. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I really Do not know. tell Kristoff. Oh, um, no, really... <laughs> Why him specifically? You don't tell Creed. Yeah, I would too. continuously do it. <laughs> <laughs> um so i'm gonna gonna go into the walmart and go into the restroom um and try to kind of clean up as much as i can <laughs> all right you you take a you take a hobo bath at the walmart bathroom <laughs> <laughs> um and then i'm gonna go um uh, and buy a, a prepaid cell phone from the electronics section Okay. All right. You do so. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back outside. That way, people don't see me looking like a hobo. <laughs> <laughs> um. And I am. Who am I gonna call? Um. All right. We got uh, three people here. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna call Creed. Preferably okay. someone with a car, I'd imagine. I did get a car, so... You did get a car. That's that's true. I forgot. All right, Creed, you get a phone call from a number you don't know. Now, you see, I could answer it. 
I also now answer. Hello? <laughs> hey, Creed, it's, it's Adriana. Oh, hey, what's up? Um, it's a long story. Just so you know, this new guy is coming Wednesday between 11 and noon. Okay. All right, sorry. Um, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a long story. Um, can, I, I've, I've somehow ended up in uh, Valdosta. Uh, could you could you come back and give me a lift to the city? <laughs> I, yeah, sure. it, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, sure. You could tell me that long story on the way back. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so, and then I, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> sitting in the car with him. I really don't like where the, where we're living. I miss my old place. <laughs> I'm not even going to respond to that. It's just <laughs> drive. It's just so fancy. You don't like fancy? No. What is wrong with you, you little <laughs> child? <laughs> All right, so Creed, you 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 pull up your GPS, right? All right. All right. So yeah, you you realize you're gonna have to drive a ways um, <laughs> down I seventy five. That's a long. That was a long ass float. <laughs> it was. I know. <laughs> Although I was looking at the river, and it actually does move pretty quickly. So who knows? Anyway. Actually, yeah, we'll. S yeah, it seems like you weren't in the water that long. Yes, excellent. So, it's three hours and thirteen minutes drive. Creed sighs, but says, oh, "It's a camrad. I'm gonna do it anyways. We'll <laughs> see how it goes." Road trip. Y'all gonna call Carolyn? <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, we would, and see if you wanted to come join us on this road trip. Uh, she would go. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, thank you. Who's driving? Creed. All Tins right. Is, All right, road trip with Creed. <laughs> All right, so Creed, you get on the road, you're headed south, um... You know, the miles are just burning away. Uh, by the time you all finally arrive in Valdosta at the Walmart, um, it's almost 2 a.m. <laughs> now, Adriana, during that time, you've made a friend. <laughs> okay. <coughs> There's a there's a a a young woman uh, by by the name of, of Kara who's like, hey, what brings you down? What brings you out here? Uh, luck of the draw. <laughs> luck of the draw, huh? Yeah. Are you, you from around here? Or? Her heart's not beating. Oh, okay. Um. Can I tell anything using Auspex? Nah, you've only got Auspex one, so oh, you that's can't right. tell yeah, much. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you know she's she's kindred, or at least not alive. Okay. Um. So. I um. Uh, guess I are are I ask her. So are are you from around here or? I live here. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So who sent you here? Um, no one sent me. Um, I had a little incident um, up near the city and ended up in the river, and the next thing I know, I'm here. <laughs> you wouldn't have made it here before dawn. Try again. Well, it, actually, it happened early this evening, like right after sundown. So, uh, I mean, I don't know how far 
you know, from, from the city I am, but you know, I mean, that's, it was kind of a pretty crazy. I don't even know, you You're know, 250 miles was. away from Atlanta. Holy cow. Wow. Now I'm going to ask you again, who the hell sent you? And I'm, I'm being totally honest with you. I, no one, I mean, I literally, I was trying to run and escape from, from the police and I got or from yeah and i got shot in the back and i ended up in the river and came down here oh again no oh. one no one sent me you fell in the river with an open wound didn't you yeah all right that explains it but i'm watching you who else is coming do you have people coming uh yeah i actually i just had called my friends to come pick me up so um, I don't know, you know, they should be here in a couple hours from, from what they told me. She leans in and sniffs you. Mm. What clan are you? Uh, Tremere. Can I ask what, you know, what, what are you? I'm a caitiff. I ain't got no clan. Okay. So, uh, you yeah, know, like I said, I'm just, I just want to be here long enough just to, to get my ride and, and to get out of here. I just, I don't want any, don't want any, any issues. Okay. You best stick close to me. Okay. I can Down do here, you're not too far from the Okefenokee. A lot of werewolves in the Okefenokee. Oh, wow. Okay. They'll cut you up. Yeah. And I, yeah, I definitely don't want that. You know, like I guess I just want to, you know, hang out here and wait for my friends so we can, you know, so I can get back home and try to figure out what on earth happened. All right. Creed, what kind of car you got? Uh, actually, you should tell me because uh, you're kind of one who got it for me in a way. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, okay. Oh my God, yeah, it's that car. <laughs> okay, so you have to stop in the big town of Unadilla, Georgia, to fill up because that thing guzzles gas like there's no. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? That? Like, what kind of car was it? I don't remember. <laughs> um, I think I think I gave you like. Just an old school, like Oldsmobile. Oh yeah, that was probably yeah. It was it. a '73 Oldsmobile. Uh... Oh shoot, it's the one from the Evil Dead. I think I know what you're talking about. All right, so anyway, know, it's like, it's, I'll, I'll I'll put I up know. a picture of it in a minute. So it's anyway, like, you guys <laughs> stop. Um, at the uh, at uh, at a little truck stop in Unadilla, and um. There's, there's like, there's some people in the, in the truck stop and, um, Christoph, <clears throat> what are yes. you doing while they're, what, what, Carolyn, what are you doing? And Christoph, what are you doing while this, uh, while the fill up is going on? Christoph is attempting to, to play music on the, uh, on the radio as usual. Uh, pretty much out here in this part of Georgia, all you're going to get is like old timey gospel music. Or, uh, or you know, conservative talk radio. He got fed up and turned it off. Okay. <laughs> um, Carolyn is just kind of taking in her surroundings and kind of just seeing what's going on. <clears throat> you see a... a uh young african-american woman standing next to a a big rig um and there's a skinny little guy standing next to a bigger guy in front of in front of her and she looks terrified the big guy looks almost like a cat you've picked up by the back of its neck hmm. and the little guy he's wearing coveralls and a, and a greasy looking uh, baseball cap and he's just talking to her 
And then you see him open up a piece of um, the big guy's arm. He literally rips away like a piece of his arm around his brachial artery. Mm. Like with his mouth or with his hand? With his fingers. Oh. <laughs> How long until this car's full? <laughs> How long until it's full? <laughs> um, gosh, tank on an Oldsmobile when I had had for filling her up probably another three minutes. Christoph notices her just staring in one direction, and he looks too. And I imagine aspects would help in this situation a little bit. You've never seen it. the the man The man who's doing the ripping, um, he doesn't have an aura. Hmm. He kind of muttered to himself, "That's strange." <clears throat> Let's keep in mind that Creed will never notice this unless someone says something. So he, <laughs> I, I think, totally... I, I looks over to Creed and says, "We need to leave now. Like, we can fill up somewhere else." But the map said that there's no other one, uh, no other gas stations near. Down seventy five. I'm sure we'll find. I, I I mean I'm sure a tank and a half of gas will get us there. The young African American woman gets in her truck and peels out of there. And you all hear drifting on the wind, especially Kristoff, because you can definitely hear this. But you hear the 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 man. Uh, with the the coveralls kind of chuckling like (laughs) and he just lets the trucker with his arm torn open drop to the ground hmm explains the lack of aura he then goes and gets into goes through the guy's pockets gets keys and uh, gets in the guy's truck and pulls out of there <laughs> Creed just kind of stands there awkwardly, just like so. Um, what was that noise? Christoph says, "Um, I think he was controlling a dead body." What? Y- you know, when when people die and they no, c- that's, start. No, that's him saying what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um. There was a man, and he was in front of a woman, and he had a dead body moving. And then he laughed. Preach is going to be confused while continuously, or continue to, like, fill the car. Okay, you fill up the car, next thing you know, you're on the road. Um... Cutting back to Kara and uh, and Adriana's big adventure. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Kara is just like, yeah. Well, there was this werewolf one time. I pulled his pulled his spine out his butt. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of stare and, and you know, I'll be honest. Uh, I've never encountered a werewolf, so. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> well, they just respect a bigger predator, that's all. Okay, yeah. So it's how been- long have you have you been around, you know, in Val- in the Valdosta area? 20 years. Okay. Uh, anything else that is notable from the area? Anything else? Anything else going on out of the ordinary, or anything else like that? Yeah, lots of stuff. See all kinds of stuff out here on the road. We gangrels usually the only ones safely between cities. Your friends ain't gonna get back to Atlanta in time to beat the dawn. Gonna need a place to stay. 
Yeah, I was, I was just kind of thinking in that too when I was looking at the time. Do you have anywhere that we could we could crash for the day and then be on our way tomorrow? Storm night? cellar over at the Wagoneers Oasis Trailer Park. Okay, is that is that your place or is that someone else's? Was one guy's place, but I killed him. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, whenever they get here, um, you know, we'll, we'll head over there. She kind of leans in and pulls her hair back. You notice her ears are pointed and wolf-like. You, uh, you killed somebody tonight, didn't you? Yeah, I didn't mean to, though. Well, that's the way it always starts, but it, it's fine. You'll get used to it. Don't need to worry about it. Well, I'm just, I just hope it didn't cause a, a, a bigger mess whenever I get back that we'll have to have to deal with. What you got to do is just make sure you kill somebody won't be missed. Did uh, this person I, have family, friends? Um, honestly, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't know her all that well. Um, other than just she, you know, where she worked at. So see now that's bad. You got to know who you're killing. Well, and like I said, this, it, you know, I totally didn't mean to. It just kind of, just kind of overtook it. So I mean, that's something that I, you know, I definitely try not to, not to do, you know. Kara leans in uncomfortably close and says, they tell you you're not supposed to kill people. And you're supposed to feel bad about it. But after a while, you don't know why you were supposed to feel bad in the first place. I'll take your word for it. It's all right, killer. You're among friends. Say that for me one more time. I'm sorry. It's all right, killer. You're among friends. Oh. <laughs> all right. It's 2.30 a.m. when Creed, Kristoff, and, uh, and Carolyn pull up. Kira looks them all over. Kristoff is waving excitedly. Creed sighs. <laughs> um, so, uh, walk over to the car and be like, "Hey guys, uh, thanks for driving all the way. This is uh, this is Kara. She's she's from around here." And Can you so just. Uh, Creed kind of just like nods at um, Kara, just like trying to play it cool almost. Creed, you notice when she stands up, she has something poking out the back of her pants. And it's Creed's moving. Um, Creed's not going to say anything just because he's too, like he's trying to stay like he's kind of cool. And you just tell everybody later. Um, so I, I tell them, Hey, you know, I know it's, it's late and we're probably not going to get back before sunrise. Um, there's a, a place that we can go and use to crash for the, for the day before we head back to, to the city. Uh, are y'all, are y'all good with that? Well, and I can't uh, imagine there's another option. <laughs> I guess you kind of have to, so... Adriana, Kara throws her arms around you and gives you a big hug, whispers in your ear, if you ever need to get back down here, just put your blood in the river. Okay. Uh, and I look over at her and say, hey, thanks. Thanks for everything. Um, we're going we're gonna to go head over. Uh, I'll take you today. there. Okay, just sure. let, me, let me give give me a nice ride in your fancy motor car. <laughs> Creed shrugs and lets her into the car. She walks up to Creed, pats him on the shoulder. Look at this! Look at this fine, beefy young man. <laughs> and that friendly cuss over there—he's a cute little string bean. 
<laughs> he blushes. And I really like Barbie sitting there in the back. <laughs> he gets the dirtiest fucking look. Shot well, she she just looks back at you and grins. <clears throat> Um, so I guess we, you know, we climb in the back seat. <laughs> okay, she starts giving you directions. Is there enough room for everybody in that car? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, it's one of the few that didn't have like a uh, safety belts in the back seat, and all the seats are like benches. Ah. Hey, you guys got a cool car. <laughs> so she she. She talks and, you know, turns on turns on the radio. Um, then uh, you hear a report out of Atlanta. Um, and in news of the weird today, a uh, <laughs> convenience store owner seems to have murdered two women. One body is unidentified. Uh, uh, one of his employees, Sally Weston, and another as yet unidentified uh, female wa were killed by... Um, Mr. Gordon Mooney. <laughs> um, he claimed, and I quote, that hell was full, the dead were walking the earth. <laughs> Can you kind of check us a little bit about that? And just like, that's an <laughs> interesting story. <laughs> and uh, I kind of shake my head and, and be like, yeah, well, I guess that's that's the best way to kind of explain uh, yeah, that was me. And I just kind of... Really? Yeah. yeah. I think you get like three echoing what's. Like everybody's like, what? <laughs> you certainly did a good job making him insane. Well, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it totally uh, didn't mean to go that way. It's just kind of how it came down. Adriana, I've never been more proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Green. All right, so you get to the the Wagoneers Oasis um, uh, trailer park. Uh, there's, you know, it, it's dark, it's dank. Some of the trailers are abandoned. Some are burned out. There are a few people living here. And then um, Kara leads you all a ways into the wood and opens up a, a set of old metal doors that are set into the ground here. It ain't much, but it'll keep the sun off you. You're so kind. <laughs> she grins and leans in, sniffs Kristoff. Just like, <sighs> thank you kindly. He looks Green slightly uncomfortable for about two seconds. Jack Free's kind of weirded out by that and it's like, you know what? I'm just not going to say anything. You know, and his mind's just like, I don't want to be sniffed like that. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, she turns into a wolf and bolts off into the woods. That explains several things. <laughs> I, uh, I'm just going to kind of stare dumbfounded and be like, I don't even know what the hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, how, how I'm just, did you make friends with a werewolf is my number one question here. Are werewolves really tall? Well, no, she, she wasn't a werewolf. She said she was uh, a a gang girl, but she's not a part of any clan. I don't. I don't know. I've, after the night I've had, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, but um, you know, actually, never mind. I realized that my question was just answered because I kind of noticed. I think her tell. Mm hmm So um. But that doesn't need to be discussed anymore. 
<laughs> Basically, for out of for out of character knowledge, um, when the, the gangrel um, frenzy, they they get an animal feature each time, and it's permanent. So that explains the ears, the point of the ears, and all that yep. too. Okay. Okay, that's actually very cool um, fact. So thank you for telling us that. Yeah, and I think Gangrel, they, it's, it's not just wolves that can kind of pick whatever animal. Uh, it's always, the only, they have to turn into a predator. Mm. It has to be some predatory animal. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so you all are uh, standing at, the, at the, 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 the sky is lightning in the east, and you see a long set of stairs going down into the earth. Well, so, who would like to go first? And I'm sure everybody looks over at me <laughs> since I got them into this mess. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. Just shut, shut the doors behind us. So. Um, so, I guess I use the flashlight on my prepaid phone and turn it on and just start heading down the stairs. All right, yeah. you head down the stairs. You see glass jars of all sorts of forgotten and decaying foods on rickety old wooden shelves. The floor is made of dirt. Um, the walls are made of dirt. There, you, you hear the sounds of maybe rat skittering from the light. <laughs> I should have brought pillows. Um, you hear a, a very, very, like, exasperated sigh come from. <laughs> like, she is not fucking happy. <laughs> <laughs> he joins in this very pouty mood because, yeah, he's not happy either. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I just you say, hey, okay, I think it's, everything looks all right. Uh, what better, part of this it, looks all right to you? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's not it, all right. It, it, it covers us from the sun, so, you know, that's, uh, you know, I'm just going to sit here and go to sleep. So I kind of sit down against my back against the wall and just you know try to forget everything that happened the night before <laughs> carolyn is crying this whole time by the way room <laughs> before what? she sleep i'm searching I'm, i wanted to do like see if there's any like trap doors any like nonsense that could happen before okay. she realizes that she's gonna pass out <laughs> yeah roll uh roll your uh Perception and awareness. Incidentally, Creed, in almost 22 years of running these games, you are the first person who ever succeeded with a dice pool of one. <laughs> so, I congrats. Feel so, like, I feel so proud of myself, even <laughs> though it's just luck. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, the difficulty going to be on this? Six. Okay. Hey, hey. All right, you uh you you actually do find a trap door. And inside the trap door seems to be a large cache of um AK forty sevens, some ammunition, um, some dynamite, some baseball hand grenades, and a uh and a few copies of Soldier of Fortune magazine from the late eighties. <laughs> Maybe she just starts. Do what? She, she just starts it. laughing. Kristoff <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks over his shoulder. Oh, uh, no pillows. Um, actually, actually, there are bed rolls in here too, Ooh. and they've been they've been sealed in plastic. Kristoff takes one very quickly. 
Uh, four successes, of course. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you've actually you've actually got somebody's apocalypse stash here. <laughs> <laughs> There's also boxes and boxes and boxes of what looks to be um, chicken jambalaya. You know, the the MREs, the meals yeah. ready to eat packages. That, that's funny. <laughs> she will pull out one of the AKs, load it, and then kind of just like slump down next to the wall there. Okay, how does everyone react to the fact that Caroline has just pulled up an AK-47, <laughs> racked around and loaded it with the clip, <laughs> the clip and then clicked it into place? I mean... Now you see, this is a normal thing for Creed. So he kind of shrugs it off, gets a bedroll, and lays it down in a, like with the most pouties look of all time. <laughs> Well, Christoph has seen her um, take out guns and shoot at things before, <laughs> so <laughs> her obsession with guns does not surprise him. It is a very nice weapon, and it was well stored. <laughs> <laughs> is there any knives? Um, yeah, there's there's a couple of uh, fairly cheap, but but okay, uh, drop uh, yeah, drop forged survival knives with little um, compasses in the handle. He's kind and of they've also got, sorry. They've also got matches and like a little cord saw and other stuff in there. He's kind of turning the knives around in his hands. Well, they're not rainbow. He has one of those rainbow knives that, that, um, that sh <laughs> shimmer. Yes, yes, I am familiar. <laughs> he he right. puts the, the knives back and, and goes to the bedroll. Okay, so you, you know, this... this this is exactly why I love running role-playing games. I'm just going to throw this out here. Because, like, one minute, I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this thing where we're going to go to a party and everything. <laughs> Next thing I know, you're in the middle of no freaking where. <laughs> in Valdosta freaking Georgia. <clears throat> oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so... This is why I tell beginning GMs don't write a story because the players, they're just going to run all over that. <laughs> That's literally what we did. All, all I can say is you're welcome. You're welcome. I love it. All you right. made this so, very interesting. <laughs> all right, so you all wake up the next night. Uh, mark off a blood pool. Please do that for me. I will. You know, I think Creed's nickname should just be Smooth Motherfucker at this point. <laughs> smooth Criminal. Pretty Being able much. To talk down the anime chica and, and do all that. I'm like, okay. okay, so you all wake up, none the worse for wear. Uh, shake the spiders out of your clothing. <laughs> Creed tries to act cool. But in the inside is screaming at the top of his lungs. <laughs> Christoph's taking them off one by one. They're not mechanical, so I guess that's good. All right, so it's nighttime. And when you all emerge, um, Kara is sitting there. Now, that's not all that's sitting there. Kara is sitting there with what looks to be a family of four, their hands and feet duct tape and duct tape over their mouths. Oh. Hey, y'all. Um, hi. Kristoff uh, was waving excitedly, and then he just kind of slowed down and his face fell. <laughs> Thought y'all might be hungry. Uh, you see, can we just go, guys? <laughs> what? Did I do something wrong? Uh, well, do you expect us to kill these people? Do you, what? Oh, no, I wouldn't. I, I'll, I'll kill them for you. You just Please eat don't. up. Please don't kill them. Let them go. I'm trying to be a nice guy right now. <laughs> Look, it ain't right. 
I guess I can let him go. Please let them go. All right. Creed, how do you want to convince her to let them go? <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't think <laughs> um, um, I guess uh, Creed would say, some other vampires are whatever will find them and probably kill them and I don't want the honor of doing it. I don't want you to have the honor of doing this. You don't make no sense. All right, roll your... You, okay, for this you'd have to roll charisma plus empathy. You're really trying to, to argue this out. Okay, okay, so charisma plus empathy. Yeah, that's actually a pretty all right roll for him. <laughs> Charisma, yes. Empathy, you have zero. This would be a yeah, roll for Kristoff, if anyone. <laughs> Very true. Uh, okay, um, you've got zero successes. All right. She's like... Honey, don't you worry about it. I'll I'll be kind. I'll I'll just twist the the little one's heads right off. <laughs> so I'm gonna kind of looks back and it's like anyone else want to take a crack at it? <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. So I step up and I'd be like, hey hey Kara, um, hey thanks you know thanks for the you know the the breakfast offer. Um, but remember what well, you know kind of what I told you last night you know that is something that you know normally don't do you know as far as it's not it's it's not who i am it's who i really want to be i mean you know they're they're kind of the same way so um all you right know. well you city folk enjoy your ride back so i kind of look back at everybody else to see kind of what their reactions are and <laughs> she turns rushes and rushes out of there <laughs> she turns and looks at the family and says, We're going to play rabbits tonight. <laughs> Caroline laughs, straps her AK, and gets in the car. All right, was everyone, gone. roll humanity. <laughs> you have just <laughs> left this poor family to die. <laughs> All right, so humanity roll. How um, exactly do you? Actually, I'll do the. We'll start with Kristoff. So. Da 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 da. -da. <laughs> Kristoff, however, he has a high enough humanity that he's got like four dice. So that's good. Yay. Yay. Kristoff, you actually managed to justify it. You're like, you know, that lady was very scary and she would likely have killed us. <laughs> so it's best that if they had to die, I'm sorry. There's <laughs> All right. There's that plus they've seen like everything. Yeah. Creed. Wait, I just realized, does it count because he literally just rushed off thinking that she was just going to let them go? Um... My God. Okay, yeah, you you actually managed to justify that to yourself. <laughs> I rolled, you succeeded, and that's your justification. Perfect. I did a good job. Caroline. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline succeeds. All right. And fingers crossed. Adriana. Adriana, you feel clean about this. Okay. You're good. It's all good. <laughs> It was us or them. They had to go. <laughs> you know, I've already I've already killed one person. You know, I don't want to. I'm not going to do it again. <laughs> I, hey, I'm not directly responsible. What can I say? All right. So you guys, uh, you guys get back to Atlanta as you walk in the chantry, Adriana. Um, Estelle raises one eyeball, eyebrow, and looks. <laughs> Who an eyeball? I, no, I just got an eyeball in one hand too. <laughs> this is like, what are you wearing? 
<laughs> it, I just I just look at her. It's it's a it's a long story. And why do you stink of patchouli and marijuana? Yeah, it's it's a long and story. Rotten peaches. <laughs> What the hell have you been doing? Uh, It's a long story, and I'm not sure if you, yeah, you you probably you probably wouldn't believe it. (laughs) So I just kind of try to walk off to go to my room to clean up and put on some regular clothes. (laughs) Okay, yeah, you get cleaned up. You put on regular (laughs) clothes. Uh, Creed and Kristoff, you make it back to. Carolyn's fancy place. Carolyn? Kristoff did attempt to go back home, though. I would think Creed just grabbed him by, like, the collar. And it's like, no. Uh... You look so sad. Alrighty. Creed does feel guilty about this, by the way, but he's protecting him. <laughs> Very nice. All right, everybody gets three experience points. I've got to figure out how to how to put things back into the narrative. <laughs> that no, was I'm sorry. That was actually like the best thing ever. I'm glad you improvised it perfectly. That was fantastic. It was great. Please add the experience points for me, by the way. I will. Let's see. You said the next one in appearance was twelve, right? So uh, how many you got right now? Um, I have. Three in a, in appearance. Three in appearance. I think abilities is four, so it's sixteen. I think. Sixteen. Wow. Well, abilities uh, cost more than skills. Skills are the cheaper way. But like abilities are actually altering things about who you are, what you are. Yeah, that's Which true. That and and it was it, twelve. Uh, I'll check. Give me a moment. I just I'm I'm busily recur- recording uh, Creed's experience. There you go. All right, so whipping that wheel. So that was really enjoyable, Ed. Um, Leslie, I'm really sorry the dice took a crap on you. <laughs> I, th- I think it went pretty well considering. It did, yeah. It, it turned out to be okay. And also, now you know how to teleport yourself to Valdosta, Georgia, through the river. <laughs> Which is often pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, there, you know, what? who knows what kind of weird magic that is. Uh, maybe I'll have to try to do some research in the Chantry and see what I can find out. <laughs> Oh, and to know what you saw, just as a sort of my Easter egg I gave you in, in the little town of Unadilla, um, as an Easter egg, there is a wonderful podcast called Alice Isn't Dead. Um, what you saw was, was something that was in the first episode. <laughs> and I highly recommend it. It's a, it's a fun, interesting, scary ride about a woman who is looking for what happened to her dead wife. Huh. Hmm. And it is it is glorious. All right, so attribute is current rating times four. So uh, it is 12 to get to the fourth dot. You were correct. Yay. Skylar. Well, I, I mean, I don't have enough yet, but still, only two away. Yeah. No, I was, I was confusing it with a clan discipline cost. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Well, thank you all so much for playing. It was it was great. I enjoyed it, and I will see you all next week. And then I will f- have figured out by then what jo- Josh was spending a lot less time in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but Caroline does have an AK forty seven, and Adriana does have weird river teleport ability knowledge. <laughs> and I met a new friend. <laughs> That's a friend. That uh, that's what a vampire acts like when they've got about three or four humanity left. Right. <laughs> yeah. So be sure to never get there, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that far off. I have five humanity. I do yeah. too. That's what I was just looking at. 
Hey, what's mine? What was it? I think Mark Ryan Hagen said that um, Charles Manson had three humanity, so that should tell you something. Wait, can you check how, many, um, how much humanity I have? Oh, say again? How much humanity I have? Can you check that, please? Yes, I will. Me. Thank you. I have eight. You have eight. You're, you're a very caring person. That is very, very accurate. <laughs> well, Zach has nine. Person, the average person has like seven. Yeah. Right. Yeah, seven, seven is like a normal person. Creed's got four. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> Creed would, well, Creed would say, what was the line George Clooney used in From Dust Till Dawn? I'm a bastard, but I'm not a fucking bastard. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's basically Creed, so that works out. Alrighty, that was great. And I got to use the Rainbow family, so. <laughs> yeah, that was actually pretty great. I feel like if Creed was set, he'd just be like, you know what? You guys, you guys are cool. <laughs> so. Well, all right, ladies and gents, I will um, I will see you all next... Oh, wait, what did... You... Oh, yeah, Chad just posted the experience points. Thank you, Chad. Yep, yep. All right, well, I will... And I'm glad you got to play this week, uh, KO, so I will talk to you all later. Okay. All right, talk Have to you guys later. I got a good Have day. a good day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank Bye. you.